Social media companies did make great strides in moderating content over the recent years. However, Sunday's events in Brasilia show they have a long way to go in languages other than English. Much like the January 6th attack on the US Capitol, posts seen by Bloomberg News suggest participants were able to openly organize themselves on social media. We discovered posts on social media featuring apparent attendees at Sunday's attack using code words to discuss their routes to Brasilia as well as the kind of weapons they were planning to bring. The terms themselves were relatively simplistic, with phrases such as Selma's party and corn in the cob used as standards for demonstration and people, respectively. To many observers of the Brazilian government in recent years, it comes as no surprise that Bolsonaro's supporters have taken a page out of the manga playbook. Bolsonaro, like Trump, also attempted to discredit last year's election. And now, as the Brazilian government looks to bring those who participated in the attack to justice, his supporters are referring to the arrested as political prisoners and attempting to spread the claim that they were in fact infiltrated by members of radical leftist groups. What Sunday's events made clear is that the structural issues behind the way social networks handle misinformation are still very much there.